The best new products and the nation's leading pet stores are being recognized and awarded here. Hi, I'm Tierra Binaldi for Global Pet Expo TV. Thousands of buyers from around the world flock here each year to hunt for exciting new products and this year has more than ever. We get to meet the new suppliers and you know get the content and, and uh, get to ship to, down to Puerto Rico that you know it will be a success for us. Well I enjoy seeing all the natural uh, stuff that you have here that in Brazil we don't get it so it's really important for the pets and we really believe in natural things for the dogs and cats. The new product showcase is always a popular spot on the show floor and Thursday it was home to the prestigious Best in Show Awards. Manufacturers were recognized for the best new products in nine categories. We just won the uh, Best in Show in the dog category here at uh, Gold Pet Expo and we're super excited. It's a very prestigious competition. The Aqua Ball is a combination sprayer scrubber. It straps your hand, it has a mechanism in the center. So when you make a fist, it turns it on and you make another fist, it turns it off. So it's a uh, one-handed operation for a pet baiting tool. We make a robotic mouse designed to play automatic games with cats. So it can sense when they play with it and change the way it behaves in response. Really excited to win. Um, we, we put a lot of hope on the new product showcase, um, and it's going to be really big for our marketing efforts. Congratulations to all the winners. The top independent pet stores were also recognized during the Retailer Excellence Awards. Awards were presented for customer service, store design, and merchandising. It's very exciting. It's just a huge, huge honor. I just never dreamt that we would win. So we're very, very exciting to be recognized by the industry. When you're recognized by your peers, it's the ultimate. You know, customers recognize you every day. They come into the store, that's flattering. But to be recognized here is really the very, really greatest. Natural Paws from Woodlands, Texas, was awarded for their community service after Hurricane Harvey. A lot of us have a big heart for pets, and then we just jump in when the time is there. Our warehouse got flooded, and we donated about 80,000 pounds of food, and our vendors helped us, and a lot of pets need a lot of food, a lot of supplies, so it was great that we were able to help the community. The awards are sponsored by WholesalePet.com and presented by Pet Business Magazine. Pet specialty retailers, uh, especially small independent pet specialty retailers, are the lifeblood of the pet industry. Uh, they're the ones who are kind of fostering uh, fledgling trends and uh, you know, developing you know, new sources of nutrition and all types of pet supplies uh, for the health of pets. The valuable information in APPA's National Pet Owner Survey is always highlighted here at the show. This year's second generational report identified trends, buying behaviors, and the unique differences of pet owners by age groups. One interesting takeaway, 44% of dog owners and 42% of cat owners will buy a gift for their pet without having a special occasion. A pet is treated like a person now. And I think that all of the aspects that humans enjoy of life, so can pets. And it's important to see that. And all of the um, items that people want, so do pets. They may not be able to express it, but when they get a new toy, they go ballistic. A big partnership announced at the official Global Pet Expo press conference and luncheon. Bear Animal Health will be giving away $75,000 worth of flea and tick prevention products to help improve the lives of shelter pets before they get adopted. APPA President and CEO Bob Vettiri also presented the latest spending figures and important initiatives improving the pet industry. This year we've spent just under $70 billion on our pets. And if you want some perspective on that, we spent more on our pets than we do on going to the movies, more than we do on jewelry, more than we do on hardware. So it's that kind of big. With everyone on Facebook and the ever-changing nature of it, it's important for buyers to learn how to use the social network to make their business work smarter. This buyer seminar was packed 
as attendees learned practical tips to make sure their store's Facebook page is engaging with followers the right way. The pet industry has so many opportunities with social media. It, it's that combination of logic and emotion in a very powerful way to drive very real results. Really to rethink how they're doing social, to look both at the content they're pushing out there, the benefit of the, benefit of the content to the audience as well as to the business, and to think how they spend their money to not just do social for social's sake, but to drive real business results. I can't do what them ten people tell me to do. With APPA celebrating its 60th anniversary and PIDA its 50th, of course a big party was in order. At another event, this year's media reception, sponsored by Nestle Purina, honored professional animal trainer and Emmy award-winning TV presenter and author Brandon McMillan. Global Pet Expo TV's Carrie Faradak spoke with Brandon about his award. Thanks, Sierra. I'm here with Brandon. Tell us what it is like to be recognized here at Global Pet Expo. It feels great. You know, I've put a lot of work in this industry since I was a kid. I paid a lot of dues, and finally it's all getting recognized. This is one of the most prestigious awards at the event. I love training service dogs. I love training therapy dogs. I love training dogs for people in need, whether it's, you know, whether it's a, a, a child, a special needs child, or somebody who lost a, a family member. You know, dogs, it's amazing what they can do for us, you know. Just the, the basic emotional support dogs offer, that right there, it changes a life, and that's what I love doing. Well, thank you and congratulations. We appreciate you being with us. Thank you for having me. Tiara, back to you. Now for some furry love. Pet Partners Therapy Animals are here in the Habri booth providing some much needed break from all the business happening here on the show floor. For Global Pet Expo TV, I'm Tiara Binaldi.